A strange animal has been found uh, deep in a dark underwater cave and it is being called a baby dragon. However, that is just a nickname. <sighs> Damn. Uh, it has another nickname, which is human fish. What a disappointing thing to eventually see after hearing that it's called a human fish. Human fish and baby dragon, what does it look like? Yeah, I don't see how that looks like a human at all. They say it's because of the color of the skin. So this that is in Croatia racial. where they're that, that color. That seems racial. It's a white people area <laughs> in Croatia. And because their skin is like, has this texture or something. Well, it's because they live um, in complete darkness their entire lives, uh, <sighs> deep underwater. So it doesn't lend to uh, looking like cool colored yeah. or anything darker. Uh, the creatures are adapted to live at these depths with zero sunlight. Uh, this is the deepest they've ever found in an underground lake in Croatia. These animals are called olms and they uh, are typically only found in the Balkans and Italy. Awesome. Yeah. I like finding weird animals. I like <laughs> finding them in weird places at the bottom of underground lakes. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of those things that to think about the process of going and finding them through like cave diving. Yeah. Really, that sounds like a horror movie to I me. I think it's cool that we keep finding animals that are on earth. Yes. Uh, just deeper and deeper in the water. Can you go down like a weird rabbit hole with me? When don't I? <laughs> There's like, that's, I th had this thought the other day where it's like the brain just normalizes stuff so easily. Like mm -hmm. the weirdest stuff. We're like, yeah, that's fine. Like elephants. Like you're just, there's kids who are like, well, this is what elephants look like. And we have elephants. Were you high? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> but like other animals are like other animals. This elephant is this, there's a giant alien creature with giant ears and whose nose is a hand. How would you feel? That drinks water and we're fine with this. We and all drink like, water, yeah. Brett. The nose drinks, the nose <laughs> is a straw and it squirts water and it's, it's very complicated and it's unlike everything else. Do you feel this way about Ohms? I feel this way about Ohms. Because they are very odd. Uh, they have a long snake-like body, uh, about one foot in length. They have weird little stumpy legs. They are one of the largest creatures to call the caves under the Dinaric Alps home. Amazing. Yes. And then. And they only live in caves. I also respect amphibians for this reason. Mm -hmm. Like there were fish and then there was a transformation into land animals. Are you high and now? No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not at all. But there was a transformation into land animals and somewhere in the middle, amphibians are like, nah, I'm cool like this. Uh huh. I don't need to be there, I don't need to be here. Well, I'm just gonna stay. I mean, they have adapted to live in this really strange and challenging environment. And right, but they didn't. That is cool that they've done that. Um, they, as amphibians, they gain the ability to exist on land, uh -huh. or at least in moist places. Wow. Conservationists and biologists are working hard to uh, protect these animals in this specific area, um, as well as the limestone caves and lakes in which they are actually being threatened as well. So it's a balance between learning about them and also learning how to protect them at this point because they are so strange. Good. Yeah. I Audience, hope they make it. What is the weirdest animal you know of? Do you think elephants are crazy too? Let us know below and please like and subscribe for more. Tooth horns. They have tooth horns. Uh-huh. <laughs> elephants. <laughs>